Dear friends, welcome back to part 4 of Java tutorial. In this video, uh, I will show you how condition works in Java. So, here you have uh, uh, F condition and switch condition in Java or FLS condition okay first you make a variable B is equal to true okay and a variable D is equal to false okay you can make uh, you can type First, uh, you put your variable type, then your variable name, and this is an assign operator, and after that, the value. If you are, if you want to make uh, multiple variable by one type, just you put a comma, okay, then put another variable name, for example, D, and it's equal to some value boolean variable just can accept true or false here i want to make the uh, show you how i want to show you the condition f for example f b means f is true okay is true because b have the true or true is assigned in b so b is true f b then says out dot brand okay okay now if I run the application it will print okay because B have true so here check if B is true then the F should be the F block should be executed okay okay as you can see here is the okay if you put D if you put D then if you run this OK will not print it because D is false here F condition checks the D if D is true then the block of F will print it otherwise it will not print it so D is not true because D assigned false values so Mm, this cannot be printed okay here is nothing here you have an else statement okay this all is keyword okay it's all is keyword keyword is reserved words uh, in Java okay else System that out is not okay. Now D is false, so F block will not execute. The else block will, will execute. Okay, so this statement will print. Okay, it's not okay. Also, if you have multiple statement here for example hi dear if you want to put this in block f uh, as you can see now there is a problem here you can if you have multiple statement uh, you should put the brace or bracket okay and inside bracket you can put multiple statement now again if I run it will print is not okay if I make this true when this is true this F block will is will print it okay F B B is true 
can be is true this f plug will print it else this f else was multiple statement okay hello dear friends now the, here it is and no problem because this is outside of the else plug if you run your application if b is true or not true this will print it okay as you can see hello dear friends but if i put this inside the else block then this will not print because this is inside the else okay if b is true or d is true this condition is checks would if uh, if b is true or d is true just need one of them should be true if one of them was true then the f block will be executed now d is not true but b is true so f block will be executed okay it doesn't have problem if you if you change the plus of them it will again print it okay but uh, this means or or this was should be true or this variable should be was true okay but if you use and here okay if you use and here then if you use and here then it will not print it because and means this should be true and this also should be true both of them should be true okay now if i run else block will not execute f block will not execute else block will execute as you can see is not okay and hello dear friends the else plug executed okay also you can use uh, this was logical operator okay or this was logical operator but if you use a single this also is an operator but this is not logical operator this is byte wise operator okay now ant works nice and correct but what is the difference if you use double ant logical operator when check here okay for example ant should be this true and no for example or f b for example f b is true okay f b is true uh, then it will not check d is true or not just a b f was true this will print it but if you use a byte wise operator this checks first this is true uh, all of this is true uh, it will again check d the d variable and that is true or not mm, this is the difference okay Uh, this was the difference I suggest you for example for example I want to for example for example
for example b is okay okay b is true if i have here an fa zero zero divide one is equal to one then uh, this block print gets print so here i use one of uh, byte wise operator first check b is true or not b is true so when one of them is true should be this uh, statement printed but uh, in byte wise this check and also this will check here is a problem here is uh, div uh, division by zero and this is a problem so here we'll print an exception okay oh, oh it is not printed an exception what the uh, mm, no this is not a problem when you okay now this is a problem this is division by zero okay first check this this is true and then check here okay if this is this is true uh, then this is not uh, the checking of this part is not necessary but in byte wise it will check and here is problem and then we'll print an exception as you can see here is an arithmetic exception by zero okay because we divided one uh, to zero but if you use logical operator okay this was byte wise operator if you use logical operator then he this will check and when this is true this is this will not check this is the difference now if i run it will not print an exception as you can see because when logical c here is true then it does not necessary this part is true or not because one of them was true in or means uh, it is okay okay thank you for your watching and see you in the next video